When you're a beginner, you've learned a few basic chords, and now the next step is moving from one chord to another. Now typically, you set up your first chord, you give it a strum, then you stop, remove your fingers, painstakingly construct the next chord, check your fretting, check your picking, and then strum again. Now as a beginner, that's all well and good. After all, you've not been playing for very long. However, how do we get to the point where our chord movements become closer together and then eventually seemingly seamless? Well, today we're going to look at moving between chords that share common notes and also chords that don't share common notes. Okay, first of all, the common notes, the chord of C and the chord of A minor. So let's look at the two to begin with. So this is C major, and this is A minor. Now if we look at those again slowly, you can see that there are two notes that are common to both chords. This E and this C. So we set up our C chord, and then when we go to the A minor, rather than removing all of our fingers, as I said, two of them are already in the right place, so why move them? Why not leave them there? So all we're going to do is take the third finger, which is on the C, the root note, and we're going to pull it towards our other fingers, so that now it frets the G string, that gives us an A, and it frees up the original string from where it came from, so that's now the root note of A minor. And if we want to reverse the process, simply put the third finger back. It works on the principle that your fingers either pull towards the palm, towards each other, or they are pushed away from one another. When you close your fingers, you might be interested to know that they don't close one, two, three, four. They actually close four, three, two, one. Like so. So these are things to bear in mind when you're doing your chord changes. So here, I'm merely pulling my third finger towards my other fingers, as if I'm closing my fist. So that's chords with common notes. Now what happens if we play chords that don't share common notes? Our examples here are going to be G major and C major. As you can see, there are no common notes between the two. So now it's a case of once we've played our G, we need to get one note in place of our next chord around which we can move our other fingers. So going from the G, I'm going to lift my third finger up to the A string, so it's directly behind my second finger, in fact they're touching. I can now put my weight on that third finger, turn my hand, and my other fingers will drop into position. Lift up the third, put the weight on it, and flip my fingers over like that. Similarly, if I want to go back the other way, I will take my second finger, put it in front of my third, and push my third finger away. So when you're moving between chords, look at both shapes. Do they share any common notes? And if they don't, what's the best finger to move in order to place one finger down so you can move your others away from it or towards it. If you figure these things out, if you can visualize the chords, they make your progressions a whole lot easier and then they get smoother and quicker.